work with big companies to give accounts to all of their employees that they can be paid into. They can manage it from a smartphone, so just like any other mobile banking app, they can see their transaction history, they can pay bills, uh, top of a mobile phone, and most importantly, they can make remittances directly from the app, which is what a lot of migrant workers are in the UAE specifically to do to save money and send it home. People often assume that uh, low-income people won't know how to operate a mobile phone, um, won't be familiar with banking, but actually the reverse is true. If you look at places like Pakistan, they've had instant payments for the last 15 years, um, loads of people are using mobile money, uh, these, the systems that we are talking about introducing here have actually been in, in residence in the countries that a lot of these people come from for quite a long time, so the education process is actually not extensive. 98% uh, of this market have smartphones that they operate to use WhatsApp, Skype, Viber to stay in touch at home anyway. So it's actually a pretty good target market to be working with. There are challenges on, on regulations for startups in the region, particularly fintech, because of the lack of information that's readily available. That is starting to change. So a couple of years ago, when we told people that we were starting a fintech startup, they thought we were absolutely crazy. You know, the region would not need it. Um, why were we trying to do something that you know, banks were already doing or they thought low-income people didn't need? Um, that is changing, and you are seeing places like Abu Dhabi Global Markets trying to set up a sandbox for uh, new fintechs to start, I guess, testing in in a, in a controlled way. Um, so that's really positive that those things are starting to happen, and that's a replication of places like Innovate Finance in London, um, who have done that very, very successfully. So it is changing in the region. Um, we're still not quite there yet, but you know, we're happy to work with those regulators to help them put things in, in place. Being in fintech in the MENA region is obviously phenomenally exciting. If you look at the market that we can capture, um, $100 billion US is remitted by the GCC every year. Um, so that's a pretty phenomenal market compared to anything else that we're working in really. 30% of India's GDP comes from remittances from the region. So you look at a country the size of India, you think there's probably quite a lot of money sloshing around there, but a lot of it is actually coming directly from here. So you know you can forget about your retail, e-commerce platforms, um, finance, and being able to process that in a much more efficient way is really where it's at.